I'll give you three guesses to where we are spending the weekend of the 4th and go. I'm taking a video. We are in, what are we in? You remember the name of it? Mafia's. All your surroundings here. This is our table. Oh, and we'll block that out because Lee's drinking heavy today. Yummy. So anyway, check this place out, man. Oh, and look at this. Old windows from an old building like we tore out of ours. I mean, wow. We had a ton of these that we just threw away. Crazy. Should have tried to sell them. It wasn't the oh. thing back then. But then I'm going to go. There's there's my wife, Lee. And then bloop, over the... Oh, there's a door coming in. And this is how this whole place is decorated. It's so cool. It's like a mafia place, I think. Isn't that what it's supposed to be? I'm not sure. I'm looking to see. And then look at, look at, instead of putting, you know, like a drop ceiling in. So cool. Just put boards in, old boards, barn wood. And those are really cool, too. <clears throat> I'm easily entertained, as you can tell. It's Mafia's restaurant. And then it goes all the way back there. Look at the bar. Just get up because this is too cold. All right. Yeah, look at this place. I mean, chicken wire. Who, who would have thought of chicken wire to separate? Look at that guy. Wow. 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 I didn't know there was mirrors back here. But yeah, and anyway, this place is really cool goes all the way back there. They got some more of those pizza oven spatulas. And they got some more tables right here. Very cool. How you doing? Check out this bread. It's very, very good. Okay, we were wondering what this meant. So Kirk decides he's going to get on Google and translate it. Uh-uh, I did it from the picture. I know, he took a picture of it and it translated on... I picked all the type, it selected the type, and then it's a translate. But was it Google? I assume. So what does it mean? It means, what did I say? Something Lessons like of wines, this. they will not count. What? Yeah. Something like that. Crazy. Of course, current order to the farm. What is something different? Yeah, always. Yeah. I, just, I just got spaghetti with meat sauce. And we still have bread left over. It won't be left over because I'm going to eat some. I'm no, it's eat not going to be left over. Nope. All right, this is where we ate. But the funny thing is, we checked in and it spelled M-A capital F-I-A apostrophe S. Now on the sign, it's spelled differently, um, but look, right here, you can see on this sign right here, that it's spelled differently. So it makes me wonder if there's another restaurant like the sign that I just showed and they had to redo the name. One thing about older towns, when they remodel and things like that, often they keep things like this, which I love. Ah, oh, Haney's Drugs. Growing up, my mother used to drive and make deliveries for several of the local drugstores. Haney's was one. Thomas Pharmacy was another one. Now it's this 
which is great. I'm glad that they're using the building for something. They don't open till five. Thought about eating there, still never eaten here. But one thing that I noticed, they still have this. This is awesome. I'm glad that they kept that. Well, it's funny because I grew up here, but it's one of those things where when you live in a place, you take everything for granted. When you move away, that's when you seem to appreciate it more. So we're downtown Opelika right now. Opelika is known as a railroad town. I'm gonna go to the other side. And in my opinion, it kind of makes sense that Norma Ray was filmed here because there are or were several textile mills here. This is the Museum of East Alabama. We've been before, and I'd like to go again, but if you'll notice, there's a new mural, and there's another one inside, I believe. We also drove by the Lee County Courthouse. As we're riding by, we saw this. We parked over at what used to be the softball field. You'll see that in another video. I'm not sure what order these are coming out, but this is absolutely insane. We're heading toward the covered bridge. Look at this. I mean, they start right there. These are elephant ears and they are massive and they're everywhere. And they keep going and keep going. Of course, they're being taken over a little bit by kudzu. If you look here, all these trees covered in kudzu. All right, I'll meet you at the bridge. This bridge was moved here after I moved away. So I've never even been here. So this is new for me. It is called Salem Shotwell Covered Bridge. Last surviving covered bridge in Lee County. Okay, it says June 2005 was damaged by a storm and collapsed into the creek. It was rescued, reassembled, and brought here. So this is it. I'm in the middle of the street, but there's really not any traffic today. Curtain chip are already on the other side. Look at the benches, aren't they cute? They don't look very comfortable, but they're cute. And looky here. There's Chip, all handsome with his new collar. Come here, Chip. Let me show your collar, buddy. Okay. He won't be still long enough. Hey, buddy. Okay. There we go. Oh, I can't see it. There's his new collar. Look at this. Horseshoes. Oh, look at this. 1900. 2007. My feet. Let me get my feet out of the way. I love stuff like this. Wow, this is really nice back here. I've never been here. It's so much cooler here than it is just right out there. More horseshoes. They're doing a really good job keeping it nice. Flowers, pretty. These look much more comfortable.
This top rock millstone was in a grist mill owned and operated by WSA Bentz on Sweetwater Creek in Clay County, Alabama, 1919 to 1947. Looks really heavy. Wow, this is nice. I did not realize all this was back here. Look at this. Walking path. All back in there. I am so glad they've done something like this. This is really pretty. Good job, Opelika. More elephant ears, and I wonder if they were planted around the same time that they brought the bridge in. I don't know. But they are huge, and they're everywhere. We used to come over here all the time. Wade in here. Growing up, I spent a lot of time over here. This is disappointing. I was hoping that the train would be running. I don't know when it runs, honestly. Looking at the schedule, I realized we missed it by about 45 minutes. But this is the home of the Rocky Brook Rocket. I used to ride this when I was a little girl. We brought the kids here when they were little. Um, I'm gonna try to insert a couple of pictures right here. It was taken away a few years ago and refurbished and brought back and it still runs. You can ride for one dollar. Oh, there it is. Rocky Broke Rocket. Oh well, I was hoping the shed would be open, train would be running. Never know. But we came over here anyway. Still as nice as I always remembered. Officially, this park is known as the Opelika Municipal Park, but for all of us who grew up here, all of us that know it well, it's known as Monkey Park. And you'll see why right there on the sign. I remember when I was little, my mother would stop at a little store in town and every time she stopped there i knew exactly what we were going to be doing she would go in and buy a bag of peanuts and we would come over here and we'd we would feed the monkeys it was a fun afternoon i remember that every every time we would do it so in homage to the monkeys who used to be here that we used to come over and feed here's this little guy right here and this is actually where the um, the cage used to be. There wasn't just one, there were several. So this little guy stands here in monument to that. He's got his hand out waiting for a peanut. Water's barely moving right here. You can see it start right there. I remember Kevin used to come over here. Kevin, if you watch this video, comment on this and make sure that I'm telling it right, of course. But they used to, he and his friends would find crawdads underneath these rocks. And I can't imagine being down there doing that. I just think, all I can think of now is snakes. I remember a friend of mine, we were over back in that other area where I was showing the elephant ears she stepped down into it and slipped now i don't know what that was moving around right there but she slipped on those rocks because the moss was so slippery and we had to go home because she was soaking wet
Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Alright. You gonna be okay being on our video for the week? Oh, is that what you Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You want to buy the FBI, CIA, or International? Yeah. Yeah. We're meeting them for lunch today. Introduce yeah. yourselves to Martha the people. Laurie. Martha hey. Laurie is celebrating the four. Introduce yourselves to the people that don't know you. Why? Who don't know me? Everybody knows me. We have some followers that don't know, know you. Hungry. Oh, what am I supposed to say? My name? Yeah. Oh, Kenneth Graham. Martha Graham. Hello. Hello. Hi. We're going to eat. Okay. We came this way. This used to be GNN. GNN, Graham and Knowles. I don't remember what it was. And what is it now? Does anybody even own it now? I think it's what part of that it? church. So it belongs to the church now? I don't think it belongs to them. Maybe I know that Kenneth used to let them park there on Sunday mornings. I don't remember that. Church. Because they were, of course, not open on Sundays. But in 300 years, it used to be G&N. Oh, I don't think it's any. It is gutted. Now, well, not gutted, but it's empty. Turn left on South Chip is being aggressive. This is our dog being aggressive again. Love. Loving on Paw Paw. Love her. Yeah, he is. Love her. Hey, she stay. We can, we can make a rug out of you. <laughs> you call it her. We can make a Wait rug. Wait till he flops out on the floor, floor. That's what he looks like. You, you get you get trimmed. They will know who you are. Yes. They want to trim you. You wouldn't look like it. No, you wouldn't look like it. 